on the water an adventure around this great brown land and beyond. We're going to have a look at vessels and watercraft from manpower to wind power and we'll even crank it up with horsepower. So strap on your life jacket and get set to get wet on the water. G'day and welcome to On The Water for another rip snorter of a week. Do we have a show lined up for you? We are going to check out the International Skiff Brigada down at Geelong on Corio Bay. We're going to check out the 14 and the 18 foot skiffs. So strap on your life jacket and get set to get wet. Okay, we're having a look at an 18 foot skiff. These boats are built with maximum strength and minimum weight and absolutely fly. They are spectacular to watch and one of the most amazing craft to see on the water anywhere in the world. The three and a half metre spinnaker pole carries 800 square feet of asymmetrical spinnaker. Got three trapeze wires here, so when the boys are hanging out on the wing, they can power the boat right up. John Winning, the president of the 18 foot skiff club, you're down here for the Geelong regatta. How's it going for you? Uh, well, we've had a pretty good regatta so far, and uh, all in all, it's been good. Breeze a little bit disappointing, but uh, no one has much control over that. But uh, it's a great place to sail, good facilities, and uh, we're certainly enjoying ourselves. Right now, these are a very spectacular boat to watch, even in the light conditions that we've had here for this week. What kind of speeds will you see out of these boats, their top end kind of speed and the right kind of conditions? They probably peak at around about 35 knots, I think. It, we don't do that all that often, but, um, but they're more exciting when there's a bit of sea because they just really get airborne. Can you tell us a little bit about the history of the 18 foot skiff? Well, it goes back to pre 1900. Um, and some of that's a little sort of sketchy. Um, but essentially, they, the sort of boats were guys, boats that were trading vessels of some description. They weren't all 18 feet, they were just sort of rowing skiffs and sailing skiffs that went out to, I believe, the first bloke out to the ships got the better sort of cargoes to bring in. And the bloke who could put a bigger sail on went a bit faster and there were no restrictions, so they, you know, they were quite mad. And you know, I guess that's what's impressed the rest of the world. It was, You've built some replicas of some original 18-foot skiffs. I picked a boat that my dad had sailed in and my uncle and sort of thought, well, if we can sail it once a month with a few guys, we'll have some fun. And I haven't missed a weekend since the day it went in the water. And then we built another one, a replica of one of Alf Beachel's boats. Um, Cliffy Monkhouse was keen to see someone build one of them a stake, which was the next boat after Aberdeer in, the, in about 1934. So we built that and put in the water last year. And uh, somehow or other, someone convinced me, uh, Bill Fisher, who's in his 60s, was keen to build a replica of his grandfather's boat, Australia 4, and uh, he's put his time in largely for nothing, and, uh, and I paid for the material, so it's a, a cheaper boat and another one on the water. Now, obviously, 18-foot skiffs are certainly in your blood. Your father sailed them, your son sails them, and, in fact, he's leading you in this regatta. Yeah, I'm sort of hoping he doesn't make a habit of that just yet. Although, uh, if someone's going to beat us, well, obviously, that he'd be my favourite. <laughs> Chris Dixon from CST Composites Boat. Mate, how's the regatta going for you? Yeah, it's not too bad. We've been a bit up and down lately, but um, it's a good, good venue and we've got nice flat water. Uh, we've had a couple of good breezes, but uh, it's mostly been number one reefs, it's light wind. What is it about this particular class of boat that rocks your boat? <laughs> the 18 footers are a, a great boat. They, you know, you've got three guys on board and it's, um, you know, it's pushing the limits on, on speed and, and technical racing as well. So, uh, yeah, that, that keeps us pretty interested. A lot of airborne action downwind when the breeze is on with a little rig up. So it's, uh, it's pretty exciting. 
Unfortunately, we haven't seen those uh, the smaller rigs out for this regatta. The wind's been a little bit light, but nonetheless, it has been some pretty close racing. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely <clears throat> it's definitely been on the light side, but it's given us a good opportunity to work on our number one rigs and, and do some tuning with these other guys. So it's been pretty close racing, and the lead swapped you know a number of times. Simon Noon, the DeLonghi 18 foot skiffer race team. You're the sheet hand. How's the regatta going down here at Geelong for you? Oh, mixed bag, I think, for us, uh, us this week. We've had a few wins and we've had a few uh, disasters in the light stuff. We don't seem to be able to roll the dice down the table as well when it's, uh, when it's a bit light and shifty out there, which we had yesterday. Look, it has been a, a bit variable throughout the course of this, uh, this week. Uh, do you find that you'll be able to sail the boat a little bit better in stronger conditions at a forecast for today? We certainly favour the stronger stuff, but even with just five boats here, they all match for speed very, very evenly, so no one's going to be giving any quarter. It's quite tight going to the last two heats. Now, Nerny, you are actually a Pongolian. Now, what's brought you over here to race these high-tech boats? Uh, well, I raced them a bit in Europe, um, but to be honest, racing 18, especially in Sydney Harbour and in Australia is the place to do it. So, you know, to be in Australia and have the opportunity to sail on, on 18s, you know, it's, it's the F1 of, uh, of dinghy sailing. It's fantastic. John Winning Jr., the appliancesonline.com.au vessel, mate. It looks like you've taken it out. Yeah, it was pretty close. We um, we sort of sailed ourselves out of it a little bit and lucky to hang in there and we just sort of scraped through it at the last minute. I think we get him uh, equal points, but we went on a count back. Oh, that's absolutely brilliant. Do you reckon uh, you'll be getting fed at home today? Might struggle, I think. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, do you reckon you'll sort of uh, razz the old man up when you get in? I oh, know, I've got to be pretty nice to him. I still live with him, so <laughs> might kick me out of home. No worries, boys. Congratulations. Cheers. Well, that's it for another week. We hope you've enjoyed the show. So whether you're hanging off the wire or winning in national titles or even sailing over the horizon, remember, a bad day on the water is better than a good day at work. See you next week.